Welcome to the Matte Customization Overview and Optional Steps video for Steps 9 to 15. After a successful installation, you have Mainframe Application Tuner or MAT and its Performance Management Assistant or PMA component installed on your site. You perform separate customization procedures for MAT and PMA. The MAT customization includes the following stages. 1. Mandatory customization, steps 1 through 8. 2. Optional customization, steps 9 through 15 to configure subsystems. 3. Optional installation and configuration of the MAT graphic user interface. And 4. Optional configuration of the MAT database and REST API. In this video, we'll focus on optional customization steps 9 through 15 to configure subsystems. The MAT customization application is called TRCUST. To run the TRCUST application, use the TRCUST member that you can find in the library shown here. You define the MAT high level qualifier during the installation of MAT. For example, if your MAT high level qualifier is apm.qet.mat, 12Q5, you can start trcust by executing the command exapm.qet.mat12q5.ceescls0trcust from the ISPF interface. When started, trcust prompts you to provide a high level qualifier for all MAT libraries that will be created during the MAT customization process. We recommend that you use the same high-level qualifier that you defined for MAT during the installation, in this case, apm.qtt.mat12q5. Press Enter to continue. Issue the S-Line command to resume MAT customization. The list of MAT customization steps shows the completion status of each step. Successfully completed steps will be marked with the plus sign. Optional customization steps are marked with the flag O. For optional customization steps, you do not have to preserve the order of step execution, with the exception of step 13, which requires that step 11 is already completed. Step 9. Define and customize DB2 and the explain facility to enable DB2 measurements. In this step, you specify DB2 system information and bind the package and plan to all DB2 systems against which monitors are run. Attention! The DB2 system must be active to run this step. Move the cursor to step 9 and issue the S line command. Type yes to enable DB2 support for MAT. Specify yes for one of the available DB2 monitoring solutions that MAT supports either DB2 Harvester, the DB2 Harvester parameter, or IFI. These two settings are mutually exclusive. For now, we'll proceed with the Harvester configuration. Specify yes to activate the supported DB2 monitoring features, such as DB2 Explain. Enable SQL collection from the DB2 catalog and other available options. If uncertain, press PF1 for more information or refer to the MAT documentation. The values that you defined are ready to be saved in the MAT configuration member Tune SSP00. You can review the details before saving. Type END to save the member. Specify your DB2 subsystem details. MAT will use the details in the jobs that activate the DB2 support. Specify your DB2 subsystem identifier, release version, DB2 plan, and other details. If uncertain, Press PF1 for more information or refer to the MAT documentation. MAT stores the collected details in the TuneDB2C0 member. You can review the details before saving the member. Then type N to save. MAT has prepared the T and BindJ member that performs the bind job. Ensure that your DB2 system is active before you run this job. Review the details of the job if necessary, then type submit to run the job. Next, Matt will run the Tune SQL J job that performs the remaining actions required to activate DB2 support. If you have multiple DB2 subsystems configured, 
you must run this job for each of these subsystems. Review the details of the job, if necessary, then type submit to run the job. When the job is successfully executed, this customization step is completed. Alternatively, you can execute this customization step with DB2 IFI, configured as the DB2 data collector. On the DB2 parameters panel, you specify DB2 harvester equals no and IFI equals yes to activate the DB2 IFI facility. On the next panel, you can activate the same DB2 explain options and provide the DB2 explain user ID. Further, you perform the same configuration steps as in the case of DB2 Harvester. For the IFI configuration, an additional substep is added where you define the details of the IFI server. The MAT optional customization step 9 is now successfully completed. Step 10. Define Kick Support. In this step, you specify the settings of your kick system that you want to monitor with MAT. Move the cursor to step 10 and issue the S line command. Type yes to enable kick support for MAT. Specify the data set name where you want MAT to save the global kicks configuration member, kicks global. Define the global kicks parameters that MAT will use for monitoring all your kicks regions. If uncertain, Press PF1 for details or refer to the MAT documentation. Optionally, you can define specific monitoring parameters for each particular KICS region. If you specify yes for this option, MAT prompts you to provide the parameters additionally. At this time, we'll use the global values and specify no. Specify the KICS transaction server, CTS, release number, and other details that MAT requires for monitoring KICS transactions. Matt uses these details in the TNC SDUP dollar job that installs the definitions for CSD objects which ensure the collection of kicks related information. Enter the name of the library resource to define in the CSD. The library resource is added to the kicks region at startup. Note, the resource name that you enter must meet certain criteria that you can find in the Matt documentation. Review the details of the TNC SDUP dollar member and submit the job to add the required CSD MAT objects to KICS by using the KICS resource definition online RDO utility program. Define the KICS options that you require for the execution of the KICS functions. If uncertain, use the defaults. Review the recommendations on updating the KICS program load table PLT. Review the recommendations on updating the Kick System Initialization Table, SIT. The MAT optional customization step 10 is now successfully completed. After this customization step, we recommend that you review the MAT documentation on how to reset and modify Kick's parameters and review the maintenance considerations for Kick support. Step 11. Enable Java Virtual Machine, JVM, support. In this step, you deploy the MAT Java agent that facilitates the measurement of Java programs. Move the cursor to step 11 and issue the S line command. Type yes to configure the MAT Java agent. Follow the instructions that the MAT customization procedure provides on how to deploy the Java agent. You need to have access to your USS system. You can use the OMVS command. In the first step, you define a USS location and create a folder where you will copy the MAT Java agent software. In your USS interface, navigate to the folder in which you want to create the MAT Java agent directory. For example, it can be the Tomcat server folder, then issue the make directory command to create a new folder in the specified directory. In step 2, you submit a job that copies the MAT Java agent file jcamat.zip from the MAT distribution library to the created folder. In the sample JCL that MAT provides, you define the source member, your MAT installation library, and the path to the created target USS directory.
In step 3, you unzip the files into the specified directory. For the unzip command, specify the path to the Java folder on your machine. Use the command pattern that Matt provides. You need to assign the proper permissions to the unzipped files. Use the command example that Matt provides. Finally, verify that all the necessary files are present in the Matt Java agent directory. The Matt optional customization step 11 is now successfully completed. Step 12. Create batch registration JCL. In this step, you enable batch registration of source program listings with Matt. Move the cursor to step 12 and issue that S line command. Type yes to proceed with configuring the batch registration procedure. Review the details of the batch registration JCL, then type N to save the member. The MAT optional customization step 12 is now successfully completed. Step 13. Define system class filter patterns for Java support. In this step, you can set the exclusion rules from MAT monitoring for custom Java systems classes to provide more meaningful results for your Java application measurements. Move the cursor to step 13 and issue the S line command. Type yes to proceed with configuring the custom Java classes. Follow the instructions that the MAT customization procedure provides on how to configure the custom Java class exclusions. You need to have access to the USS directory where you deployed the MAT Java agent in customization step 11. In the MAT Java agent directory, find the lib folder and locate the com.ca.mat.customerexclusions.txt file. Issue that E line command to edit the file. Now you can add specific Java classes that you want to exclude from Matt Java measurements. Add each class on a new line. You can use wildcards. Then press PF3 to save the file. The Matt optional customization step 13 is now successfully completed. Step 14. Define tune bat PM parameter for PMA. In this step, you define ToonBat PM Parm for the Performance Management Assistance component, PMA. You define the batch report options that are used in the generated reports for PMA. Move the cursor to step 14 and issue the S line command. Type Yes to proceed with the creation of the ToonBat PM member. Matt saves the PMA-related parameters in the ToonBat PM member of the UTR Parm library. Review the parameters and update the values if needed. Use the defaults if uncertain or refer to the Matt documentation. Type N to save the member. The Matt optional customization step 14 is now successfully completed. Step 15. Compile the demo program. In this step, you compile the MAT Demo COBOL program that enables you to run a sample measurement and verify your MAT installation. Move the cursor to step 15 and issue the S line command. Type Yes to proceed with the demo program compilation. Then select the COBOL compiler type. COBMVS is the recommended default. 
and specify the prefix for the COBOL language environment and the COBOL library prefix. Refer to your system settings for these details. Review the details of the Tune COBOL job that Matt has prepared. The job compiles the sample COBOL program and prepares the COBOL program listing using the language settings that you have defined. Submit the job. Type yes to run the sample Tune COBOL 1 program and define the details of the member where Matt will save the JCL. Review the details of the member, then submit the job. The MAT optional customization step 15 is now successfully completed. You can now use the sample COBOL program to create a demo monitor definition in MAT. Submit the sample job, measure it, and analyze the measurement down to the level of statements in the COBOL program listing that is available to you after this step. For more details, see the information about Installation Verification Procedure IVP, in the MAT documentation. MAT customization optional steps for subsystem configuration are completed. For more information and feedback, visit techdocs.broadcom.com forward slash MAT.